I know you guys hear the same thing over and over again about your small shop and you don't have enough space. Stop, stop, But you're going to hear it one more time from me. I have a small shop, don't have much space, but I want to bought myself stop. a drill press, a bench type drill press bandsaw, as well as a bench grinder. Now, with the limitations of my workshop, I don't really have space for even these uh, bench tops. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to make a flip top bench for both bandsaw, the drill press, and I'm thinking about doing a, a flip out or fold out uh, wing for the grinder. Here I'm going to make one uh, especially for my uh, router table, which is a Roby. Little round of table, which is about 31 inches by 12, 14 inches, something like that. Uh, so what I did was I came up with some plans. Here's the router table. The router sitting upside down on a flip table. Here you have uh, my future planer. So once I get the router table in and when I buy the planer I can mount both of them so now I'm saving space on occupying space for one piece of equipment rather than uh, two uh, benches but the overall dimension of this is roughly 36 inches from here to here uh, the height is uh, 34 inches and a half to match my workbench uh, so I can use my workbench as a outfeed table. The legs here, the wheels here, and the wheels are like four inches high. My flip top is 16 by 16 by there's my dimension by 35 inches. It's going to be out of three pieces of plywood I'm going to sandwich together. I'm going to have one solid bottom piece, one solid top piece, and in the center I'm going to have uh, basically two halves. And in there is going to be my rod which is going to extend in between here. Extend out a little bit as shown on here. Here's my rod sticking out, sticking out, and extending through my flip top itself. The rod is going to be 34 and 3 quarters inches long. My wheels are going to be uh, two 4 inch wheels, two with brakes and two without brakes. And here is one of the wheels <coughs> with the brake. And I have three more, so that's that. I'm starting to buy my hardware. I got basically nuts and bolts that I think I need. More than likely, I'm going to go back to get stuff as I need it. I bought some casters, both locking and unlocking casters. My plywood, as you can see, I got six panels of 40 by 16 and a cut. For my pivot, I've already have a steel rod that I used on another project. Uh,
stop. channel please hit the subscribe button but we would appreciate a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video 